drummer. Um, we've been playing music our whole lives. You know, I started on violin when I was age four, and I think That's he started awesome. on drums when he was, I think, six. And so we, we've just been playing uh, music our whole lives, and naturally we progressed into, you know, wanting to play rock and roll and heavy metal. And, um, and then we know Chuck, our guitar player. We've known him for a number of years. So when, when it came time to find a, a new lead guitar player, he was the first choice. And uh, Sal, our bass player, you know, we actually found him on the Internet, and uh, we, we reached out to him. Uh, to see if he wanted to play bass, and he was very excited about it. So that's kind of how we all came together, and we've, we've all been playing music for pretty much our whole lives. That is amazing. We have got Tyrant with us today. Uh, they join us live here on a broadcast. So um, how'd you guys come up with this name, Tyrant? Um, so Andrew and I named the band when we were, I think, like 13 and 15, uh, respectively, and, you know, we just thought it was a really cool name because we've always been a fan of, like, one-word band names, you know, <laughs> Metallica, That's Kiss, right. Pantera. And, uh, you know, when, when we looked, looked up the name, nobody had the copyrights for it, the trademark service marks, and, and so we took it. Wow. You know? See, I'm amazed that that had not been thought about up until... I know, I it's it's such an important step for, for bands, especially young bands, you know, um, because it really makes the, the difference. You know what I'm saying? Yes, very much so. And uh, uh, you guys lock the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure did. And we were surprised, too, because we had gone through a couple different names, uh, name choices, and when we were doing all the, the legal research, yeah. Um, you know, all the names were taken, and this one wasn't, so it was just kind of like, let's go with that. I think that's also uh, pretty fantastic that you guys went through the legal process. You guys went through legal research on this. There yeah. are so many people that just go, hey, this is an awesome name, let's go for it. And then, I don't know, five, ten years down the line, they realize, oh. <laughs> we gotta do a bunch yeah. of shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a prime example of that is Ghost. You know, they they rose to prominence really quickly, and then there was another Ghost. I don't know from where. <laughs> and, uh, there was a huge dispute. So Ghost is actually legally known as Ghost BC. Yeah, but they still, you know, branded as as just Ghost. That is amazing. Uh, so what was some of the, t t tell us about this. What was some of the, the process, the, 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 the legal process with all this, that, 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 this is really cool. So, uh, our dad is actually an attorney and he was pretty instrumental in, in helping us, you know, not only protect the name, but protect the music and make sure like all of our album artwork is, is protected and, all of the song titles and the lyrics and, and the music and the recordings. Um, and so it's it's pretty much just reaching out to the U.S. What, what is it? USPTO, which is yep. the United States Patent Trademark Office. Yep, yep. And, you know, just submitting inquiries, and then it's a bunch of paperwork and filing fees. Um, and, you know, like we have to renew it every... I think you can choose the renewal for, for band names and, and, and stuff like that. Um, like it's, it's in intervals every five, 10 years. And I think we renewed it like two years ago. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a ton of paperwork and, and, and submitting, uh, inquiries to the U USPTO. I think that's great. You guys, uh, definitely, definitely have done it right. Cause there Thanks. are. There are so many people, and we all know who they are. They don't know what they're doing, <laughs> and they <Yeah>. have not. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's that's fantastic. I'm glad you guys kind of hit that out of the park. So, yeah, um, violin and yeah. going into heavy metal, uh, that is amazing. Yeah, it. You know, it's it's kind of one of those natural progressions because. Uh, orchestral music and and you know classical music at, at its core has always kind of trickled into heavy metal, you know. Um, 
But yeah, I started on violin when I was four, and I just, right around like 12 and 13, I was like, I just want to rock. And you know, I, <laughs> I just fantastic. got really into rock and roll and heavy metal, and I, I switched to I guitar. And rock. You know, the transition was, was kind of easy because I had already had like eight years under my belt of, um, you know, playing a stringed instrument. It was just a different way to look at it, you know? I think that's tremendous. We have got uh, some great guests with us today. The band Tyrant joins us here on our big broadcast. So you mentioned earlier uh, some some of the things that you you guys have gone through as far as the the, the legal aspect. Uh, you mentioned with the album covers and some of this. Talk, talk to us a little bit about that. That's interesting. That going through uh, the new sure album cover. That. Well, you, you you said something about you know you you may you had to make sure that your 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 name was a certain way, and then when you've gone through the albums and your cover art and all this, talk to us about all that. So, I I guess it really starts with with communicating with the artist. For for the most part, we've done all of the the album artwork up until this new album. Uh, we've done it all in house, um, but. When we work with, you know, merch designers in the past or, or even the, the new album artwork with Daniel Porta, we have to communicate with them that, you know, uh, and typically there's a ton of agreements involved, um, but it, communicating with them that the artwork will be, I guess, owned by the band. Um, that way we can submit the, the copyrights and the trademarks, you know, to, to be able to use it and use it to produce merch and, and so on and so forth. Um, and most, most artists are really cool about it. You know, Daniel, Daniel Porta, the guy who did the lowest level artwork, yeah. um, you know, he was very understanding, you know, he, and he was great to work with too, you know? That's awesome. I, I, I just, I, I, this is so refreshing to, uh, to, to interview, uh, a group that kind of has their shit together. I think that's, <laughs> <We> <laughs> I think like that's them, amazing. Though, yeah. <laughs> So, tell me a little bit about the music scene where you guys are from. So, we're from Lansing, Michigan, which is, to most people, uh, surprising to learn that that's the capital of Michigan and not Detroit. (laughs) Um, But, you know, Lansing's music scene is kind of an eclectic bunch. You know, we've got all different types of artists here. Um, And unfortunately, you know, the pandemic, when we were all kind of shut down for two years, the scene really took a hit. Um, you know, we lost some of our, yes. our really big venues, and we only had a handful to start with. Um, you know, so, and, and with that, we kind of lost a lot of bands, too. You know, we kind of just saw them fizzle out because they weren't able to go out and play shows. Um, but, you know, we've got a bunch of great heavy metal talent from Lansing. Um, bands like Heartsick, Throne, um, shit, there's a ton of bands from Detroit, too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. And it's, it's not just one specific niche genre of metal. You know, we've got like traditional metal, power metal, new metal, you know, black and death metal, all types of shit here. It's amazing. We have got a great guest with us today joins us live here on our big broadcast. Tyrant is with us. So, uh, tell me a little bit about some of your musical heroes and influences. Um, the, if you ask this question to everybody in the band, everybody's going to say something different, (laughs) obviously, but for me, I'm, I'm really big, like, I'm a big prog rock fan. I love Yes, I love King Crimson, I love Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, um, and I, obviously, I love, if it's not obvious, I'm a big Megadeth fanboy, you know, if I had to pick my top three influences, it would be Kiss, Megadeth, and Yes. And it and it's kind of like a a weird mix, you know. I just love, and and I'm not saying I'm specific to rock and metal because I listen to like a lot of Andrew and I listen to a lot of like hip hop and rap. Um, you know, Andrew's a big Blink One Eighty Two pop punk fan. Sal, our bass player, he's really into like death metal. Uh, and Chuck, our guitar player, he's really into like like symphonic metal too. And and classical music you know he plays a lot of classical guitar as well that's awesome we have got a great guest with us today he joins us live the band tyrant 
And uh, we have got one of the members with us today here on our big program. So you guys have been doing some incredible stuff. How do people find you guys on social media and the websites and buy your music and everything? So the best way to, to support us is, is visiting our website, tyrantband.com. Uh, you know, that's where you can purchase all of our music, our CD, vinyl, all of our merch. Um, you can find us on social media, everything at time. So, um, yeah, and, you know, the, like I said, man, the best way to support us is right on our website because it goes directly to us. You know, there's not a, a – it. there's less hands in the cookie jar. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. Yes, that is, that is uh, pretty amazing. So – we have got this track here, uh, Pray for the Night. Tell me a little bit about this. So, uh, Pray for the Night, we actually started writing early 2020, um, and it's kind of evolved uh, over the, the course of you know 2020 and 2021. Um, but yeah, that song was, was, was kind of inspired by... Um, us sitting at home and, and not really having much to do, you know, we weren't able to tour, we weren't able to play shows, we were kind of like in this weird limbo. So, so lyrically, it was it was inspired by all of this pent up frustration and and kind of sadness and anger and, and uncertainty, um, you know, where all of the days just kind of seemed to blend together and we didn't know what the future held, um, you know. So, it's. It's uh it's kind of a sad song, it's kind of a mad song. It's uh it's 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 got a little bit of everything. We have got a uh, great guest with us today, Tyrant Airs with us and uh I'm going to do this. I'm going to put you on a brief hold here on Skype and we are going to play this track and then we're going to come back and keep chatting with the band Tyrant here on our big big program. It is coast to coast. It is border to border, as they say. Yes, uh, it is border to border. And I don't know who's saying it and why they're saying it. They are indeed saying it. And I got all sorts of things happening here that shouldn't be happening. And uh, I've got multiple issues with cameras. And it, it just... Ah! Don't have enough time in the day for all the shenanigans that we do on this show. So here we go.
That is Tyrant Pray for the Night, and it's here on your big broadcast. Coast to coast, border to border, it is the Quad Pod this week. We go back to Tyrant, they join us live here on our big program. So, uh, you guys have got some incredible music here. That was fantastic. What is yeah, next for you guys as an artist? Um, <clears throat> well, currently we're going to do a, hopefully another new music video before the end of the year. Um, and then I guess just keep writing music and, and tour as much as we can in 2023. You know, Andrew and I were demoing some new song ideas maybe two weeks ago. That's and, awesome. uh, so yeah, just keep writing and, and play as much as we can. Good stuff. Well, you guys are amazing. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Uh, before we let you go, how do people get in touch with you online, buy your music, and contribute to what you guys are doing online? Visit tyrantband.com. Uh, at Tyrant Metal on, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok. You know? You gotta, That's awesome. You got to do the shameless TikTok plug. <laughs> Well, you guys are great. I love the fact that you guys are uh, making this thing work. Uh, Thank you. That is.